okay guys in this video I'm gonna show you your options to do your temps in this case imagine you well these are the preoperative models okay you saw your patient and you planify that you want to do a bridge from here from 15 to 17 okay so what are your options you have your preoperative models and then what you what you can do is first you can do a wax up so you do a wax up in this case I already did one wax up put it there have a wax up then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an impression take an impression you duplicate the model after you duplicate the model you take it to the vacuum shell and then you make your vacuum shell okay you get a, a vacuum shell this is one way another way second method of your preoperative model you find one tooth that kind of uh, fits in and then you just cut it and you adapt it like really quick we just we just um, take care of of the crown okay that's all that matters so and then you can grab a little bit of wax white red wax it's irrelevant the one you can hit it with your fingers and you're gonna put it in the saddle area and that this is just to get a better nicer anatomy then you're gonna adjust the occlusion with the patient but then you just make this bite perfect and then what you do is again you take your impression you duplicate your model and you do your vacuum shell and then you do the regular process to your temps and go to the patient and do it okay so those are the the regular cases that you do two options so for you to remember first option you do a wax up you take an impression you duplicate the model and then you do your vacuum shell second method you can find a tooth right stock that you have like for a complete dentures you do the same pro procedure you take impression you duplicate your model you take it to the vacuum shell okay always duplicate the model and then take it to the vacuum shell now i'm gonna talk to you about the other methods you have a third method which is inpatient well you're getting this is going to be half laboratory and half patient okay so I have this so whichever method you like so let's say I like this one put my tooth I, I adapted the, it there and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take an impression and then, then this impression I'm gonna fabricate my temp directly from the impression I'm gonna show you how so now we have it here the tooth we're gonna take the impression of that side there we go we wait until it sets so now that it is set I'm just gonna cut all these borders that I don't need just remove everything so we, I can see the gingiva nice then we'll remove it I have an impression here so what are we're gonna do now is that we're gonna this is just the preoperative model you have this here obviously here you disinfect it you put it in the in the plastic bag and everything and then after disinfection you just uh, put it in the wet towel and you keep it there you have one hour and you go to your patient and you're gonna do your preps you're gonna prepare these two teeth okay so I'm gonna put the teeth that I already prepared okay so now 
what we have is I, I place the teeth that I prepared now you have the impression and you just fill in you're gonna fill it in all with the the PMMA and you're just gonna place it there okay and then you're gonna take it out and I'll show you and uh, this is a variation there is another technique also that you can use the same procedure so the variation is that instead of using this you're gonna use a putty on your preoperative model and then you're just gonna put it there and then this is what you will use in the patient you will fill this with the PMMA and then you will take it to the patient after you you did your preparation and you just put it and then it's the same principle now what did I mentioned uh, with alginate not with the putty because in real life what happens is that patients come and like they have a bridge for example and we have to cut it and then we need to tempt it so you're like I need a temp for a bridge three four what am I going to do so either you can choose either you take a putty of this and then you're gonna do the technique you're gonna cut the bridges and take it off take it all out and then you're gonna be able to do your temp or but there's also it's not as expensive material but you can also just take an alginate impression because that gives you an hour without um, having the distortion keeping it all wet so you take your impression you cut the bridge take it all out prepare your teeth take your impression fill it in with PMMA put it all back now PMMA is this is the using PMMA you can also use uh, the, the composite which is a uh, another material but this is the variations that you have of the same technique okay and this is when you will use it because you were maybe you were wondering when am I gonna use it when patients come like this usually whenever they have a crown you imagine it's just one crown you're like you know you have to tempt it after so just do your putty alginate impression both are the same both are functional it all depends how much time you spend in doing your preps and your your working time okay so this is just your options that you have and then the last option which is uh, what we try to avoid the most and uh, I'll show you all of this because uh, in a real world in a real world you work really fast okay we, we deliver on good quality but now as we do that every single day just take you like 20 minutes each tooth so in 40 minutes like you will have your your both teeth prepared so you can either choose the putty or you can use your alginate impression it makes no difference and with this of course I save more money right so that's those are the advantages and then uh, okay and the last technique that you have our last resource would be to do a hand tree hand tree block technique this could be just for one crown, okay, to be done for one crown, for bridges, everything, you can just do it hands-free.